QuickBooks Online 2022 Profit and Loss Reports Print, Save as PDF and Create Management Report. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Online in our browser, searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive. Going into the test drive, we're going to be looking at the United States version of it and verifying that we're not a robot. Sample company, Craig's Design and Landscaping Services, holding control, scrolling up just a bit to get to that one two five percent We're also going to have the free 30-day trial version open just so we can look at the business view as compared to the accounting view. If you don't have access to it at this time, that's okay. We're not going to be entering any data into it. We're going to be going back then to the sample company file, opening up a few tabs. We can put reports in. I'm going to go to the tab up top, right-click on it, and duplicate that tab back to the tab to the left right clicking again and duplicating again as that is opening i'm going to jump back on over to the free 30-day trial period just to note that in the business view the reports are located under the business overview section and then in the reports area if we were to change to the accounting view which you could do by going to the cog drop down and going down to switch to accounting view you will have a view similar to what we're looking at in the sample file over here second tab has now populated the reports and this view is on the left hand side under the reports on the left hand side we're going to be starting off with the profit and the loss reports and we'll do a range change up top on it so i'm going to go up top and change the range from 010121 to 123121 and run that report in prior presentations, we thought about how to memorize this report or customize this report and save the customization. If I go back to the prior tab and I go back down to the reports areas, we can save the customized reports in the custom reports areas. They're not here anymore because I started over a new one as I'm doing every time we do a new presentation. But if you were to save the customized reports in your actual company file, that would make it easier to basically sort the month end reports for example and then populate those reports into an area without having to reformat them every time and you can then think about how you're going to give them to say a client or management we're going to be considering the scenario of a client at this point who you may want to give the reports to basically monthly quarterly yearly so you might want to group your reports in that way and then once they're grouped you might want to then, one, give them to them in this management report view. We talked about this in a prior presentation with regards to the balance sheet. So I'm not going to go into this option in more detail here. If you want to take a look at it, you could take a look at the, the balance sheet presentation when we go into it in more detail. You can also then, if I go back up to the reports themselves, you can email them one by one, which isn't that great if you have a whole lot of reports. And if we're doing monthly reports, we will have a whole lot of reports. And you can print them if you were able to give them a physical copy. You can also uh, save them as a PDF and then uh, zip them. We'll do that now. That's the method we'll do this time. And then next time, we can export the reports to Excel. And then we'll make one PDF in Excel with the uh, cute PDF printer and the Excel functionality of it. So we, we're going to imagine that we're continuing on with all the balance sheet reports. Remember, we had a lot of balance sheet reports just with the balance sheet reports when we're talking about comparative reports that we can add to it. And now we have a whole lot of income statement reports when we talk about the comparative reports too. And so I'm going to continue on with that. We're going to save these as the PDFs. I'm just going to recreate them once again. So the first one we might do is we might collapse everything and have our summary report. And I'm going to customize that report. So we'll customize it. I'm going to say this is going to be get rid of the the let's get rid of the cents and i'm going to make the bracketed numbers on the negatives the zero i'm going to go to the header and footer and i'm going to call this an income statement income statement summary i'm going to copy that so that i can save it and that way as well i'm going to get rid of the footer now i'm doing this fast so i might not do the customizations perfectly but just to give you an idea so there it is there's our income statement we can memorize that report so i can i can say let's let's uh, save the customization and put these into a new group i'm going to call these month and reports and add that and there there we have it income statement summary 
So we will save it there. And now I'm going to export it. I'm not going to export it. I'm going to create a PDF from it. So I'm going to say, let's make it into a PDF. It is an export to a PDF. Same kind of option as the, the printing option. You could still email it from here, save as a PDF or print it. I'm just going to save it as a PDF. I get the, the thing up top because I'm in Edge browser. It depends on the browser as to what's going to open here. I'll open it up there. And then I put the report, I saved it here into our, our folder. Now, when you're saving them into your folder, if it's for a client, you might save it by a client folder, save it by client, and then save it possibly by year. And that's one way that you might think about saving it. You want to, of course, organize your documents so that you could provide it to somebody. But I'm going to put it into this folder, and then I'm going to add it to the other reports that we have, these being the balance sheet reports that we had here. So I'm going to go back on over. We're going to then do it again. Let's do it again. I'm going to close this back out. This time I'm going to expand the report and that's going to be my standard income statement. So I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to customize it though so I can change the name and I'm going to call this then in, uh, in the header and footer income statement standard standard income statement standard standard and then I'll copy that copy that Roger, Roger that copy out. And then I'm going to go up top and we'll save the customization. So I'll put that into the customization because it's a standard income statement now and save it there. So there we have that. And it's expanded. So now I'm going to go ahead and export it again, export to the PDF. And then let's go ahead and just save it as a PDF and then I'll open it back up again. So now I've saved that into my folder as well. So I've got these two new reports that I'm going to add into the month end reports at some point, close in this back out and I'm going to say, okay, let's do another one. This time I'm going to say the comparative income statement. So, but I want to see like multiple months, let's say the last three months. So I'm going to say from 10, 01, 21 to 12, 31, 21. And then I'd like to see it by month, for example a report like this. So now we got something like that. Let's customize that report and we'll say let's do some customization on it with a name change. Once again, we're going to call this the let's call this income statement income statement by month by month, for example. And then I'm going to copy that name. I forgot the income income statement by month report title and then I'm going to copy it and run it. So income statement by month. And so we got the three months we, and then October through December, I'll keep that range. Let's, let's customize, let's save the customization income statement by month and then save it. And then I'll print it, drop down here, drop it down, drop it down. And then we'll save it as a PDF once again, opening up the PDF, saving that one into our folder now. So we've got this one saved in the folder as well. Going back on over, now we might want to do a comparative income statement. So let's do a comparative one. So I'm going to look at the current month, 120121 to 1231, take it back to the totals. And this time I'm going to cuss, I'm going to hit this drop down. This is the drop down I want. Previous period from that looks good and then percent change that change run it run it that's what we want looks muy bien muy bien so let's customize it and then i'm going to go down with the header and the footer and we're going to call this a comparative income pay say comparative income statement and then i don't want this time i don't want the report period, that period, I'm going to take that off. Boom. And then the, for some reason it does this to the, so I go back in here and I say, I want that custom period. And then it puts the date. Let's run it again. So I get that date that kind of bugs me that it does that. Don't do that thing. And then we're going to save the customization. And this is going to be a, this is going to be a comparative income statement, comparative, comparative income statement, save it. And so there we have that. Let's export this one, drop down, drop it down, drop it down. 
feel like I'm talking to my dog, trying to get him to drop the ball. Drop it down, QuickBooks. Come on. You know how the game works. So there we have that. We've saved that into our folder. Let's do one more, and that's the vertical analysis. The vertical analysis. So let's bring us back to the OG data, the originals. O to the G, 0121, no, 01, 0121, and then get rid of this whole previous period thing. Done with that. How come I got 2020 down? Okay, I'm not going to worry about that here. We're going to say, let's run it, and then we'll do the previous. We, now we want percentage of the income. That's what we want this time. And this is going to be that vertical analysis. I'm going to have to try to spell it again. So I'm going to I'm going to customize it up top, do some customization header in the ver in the footer. And this is the vertical vertical analysis. Woo! I'm going to copy that. Roger that, copy that, Roger out. And then we'll go up and cust save the customization. Saving the customization. And then we can then hit the drop down and export it to the PDF and save the PDF and open it up. So now we've saved all those components of the reports and we've got a lot of them now. And if I combine those to what's on, on the balance sheet, if I go into the balance sheet, I've got all these, it's kind of a lot. So what I'm going to do is try to put them into one folder and I'll rezip the folder and hopefully be able to give this to everybody in one time. Now notice I labeled these as one, two, three. I might want to do these for this as well. So I'm going to cop, this is the, the comparative, this one, this one, not that one, because it's the month end. I want all of those. I'm going to put them into my folder here. And then I might want to number them all so that, so that when someone opens the zip file, they'll be in like the order I think they should open them in. So we're going to say, I want like the summary, the income statement summary is going to be number four. So I'm going to right click on it, rename it and say, this is number four. And then like the income statement, statement standard, this income statement standard rename is going to be number five. And then the other ones can go in whatever order I'd say, like the income by month, let's say, actually the verdict, you know, let's do this one, rename income statement by month six. And then we've got the the comparative right click rename number seven and then we've got the vertical analysis number eight so now when they open it up it's one by one but if i attach all these to one full to one email that's kind of a lot of lot of downloads so we can then go back on over here and say let's zip it i'm going to right click and zip the whole folder so let's like right click and send it to a compressed file that has a little zipper on it. So if they want to open it, they just pull on that like zipper and then it, then you can get inside and open it up. So we've got that and then next, so that's a little bit easier to attach now. And then next time we'll do the Excel and then we'll take one PDF from the Excel. So remember, you can now take these reports, give them to someone electronically with the zipped file, which you can email or possibly put into like a OneDrive or a shared drive of some kind. You've also then, you can, you can email them one by one, or you can email them this way. You can export them to an Excel, which we'll talk about next time, and make one PDF using a PDF printer. If I go back to the first tab, you'll note that in the memorized reports, if I just go back on over here and back, does it change it? In my, mem in my customized reports, let's go and refresh the screen here. So now we've got all of our custom reports here, which hopefully will make it easier next time to create the reports. And you can also put those custom reports if you so choose into QuickBooks Manage Reports tool. And I would make a new one of these reports, basically copying the report, and then try to add these reports as well as the text into this. And this is another way that you can kind of get all the reports into one area and possibly make it look even more formal. If you want more detail on that, take a look at the balance sheet side where we tested that out a little bit more. We did a little bit further of an example of it. We're not going to do it again on the income statement side.